Yo, what's up guys? Camera Vaults here, and today I'm showing you guys how to install uh, Ubuntu 16.04 on a laptop, PC, really anything that you have that will accept this OS. Um, so a desktop, a laptop, um, should anything should work with this. But there is one thing you need to do before we go into this. Um, you need to if you have a, a computer you built yourself, you probably already know this, but if you bought a computer um, pre-built or you bought a laptop, this really only if you have something that's particularly old. Um, so if you have an older system, look it up and see if it is a 32-bit or 64-bit architecture because if you um, download the 32-bit version of Ubuntu, then it's only gonna, it, it will work for 64-bit. But if you download 64-bit and you have a 32-bit, it's not going to install, and you're probably going to be like, well, why, is, why isn't this working? Your tutorial sucks. No, that is why. So if something goes wrong, um, I want you to look at this. And the first thing I'm going to say is if you have an OS with your data already on it, back up your data because this is going to erase everything on your hard drive, everything, including if you have Windows. So if you have a key, save that key. So if you want to go back to Windows, you can reuse the key. Um, but so let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is, of course, open up your internet browser, and it's pretty pretty easy. You just search Ubuntu, and then you go to their website right here, and you can see it's got all this stuff. And you just want to go to download, and then you see Ubuntu desktop. Actually, click download, then go down to desktop. And you see you got all this stuff here, and then go to alternative downloads. And you see we got the 64-bit, the 32-bit, all this stuff. Um, there is older versions, but we're going to go for the newest version. Because what I've seen is 14, a lot of the packages won't install from the software center and stuff. And 12, I haven't even tried that, but it would probably be worse. Um, so I currently already have this downloaded, but what you do is you click download, um, of course, and it bring you to a download. And Well, this is the torrent, so if, if you want to do that, but, you know, just download it and stuff um, and if you want you can go to other images and get this so you don't have to use the torrent or if you want you can just go to download and click on this then click download to ask you this click no take me to download and then this is where it's um, going to actually start and downloading it it's about 1.4 gigabytes so it's going to take about five minutes for me it depends on your internet connection for that part but yeah so once you have that, um, I'm gonna get mine out here. You're just gonna want to pl place it onto your um, onto your desktop, so you know where it is. And then you're gonna want to go back to your internet browser and um, search X Drive Linux and or Pen Drive Universal USB Installer. I'm sorry, I just totally screwed all that up. Search Universal USB Installer. I go down here and it says download UUI. So I'm going to download this so I can get the latest version in case there's anything different so you guys know exactly what's happening. Now, next thing you want to do, this is pretty easy. Um, you could go out, buy a cheap USB. I've got this 4 gigabyte USB drive for 5 bucks from Target. Um, so really any USB drive will work as long as it's above 4, gig, 4, 4 gigabytes or above. Is the recommended size because if you have a really um, small USB drive, it's not going to have enough space to install in it. So let's make sure it detected my drive. Go. I gotta plug it in. And there. All right, should pop up. There it is. I currently have a Windows XP install. Um, no Windows 8. So it's going to be formatted, so anything on this drive, I don't know, make a folder or something. So you don't lose all your data, because that would be bad. Now, you're going to open this. It's going to ask you, do you want to run it as administrator? Of course, you want to click yes. Then you're going to want to agree, and then it's going to bring this up. What you're going to want to do is just click Ubuntu, browse, go to wherever you saved it, which I saved it on to my desktop. Click the ISO file. Now it's here. Now don't check this because if you check this, I could be like, oh, 
and then accidentally click on my main hard drive and that would destroy everything on my main hard drive so you're gonna wanna uncheck that make sure you get your USB it should only show up with your USB um, or if you have a uh, external storage make sure you know what the name is this is Windows um, the 10 you can see the name right here it's the exact same name so you just want to verify that because this will delete everything and you want to check format which deletes everything and then you're going to want to click create click yes and right now it's just formatting it and then it's going to start um, uh, installing everything and it's going to create the boot and then this is going to pop up now this part um, really depends on your computer on how fast it is I'm actually going to stop recording so it goes fast and I will come back to you guys when this is done and I'll actually be um, with my outside camera you know my real camera so you guys can see the whole process but uh, yeah alright guys so once you've finished it will say installation done process complete click close go to your USB unplug it and this is actually an 8 gigabyte USB because my other USB was not working but if you have a 4 gigabyte USB it will work the same so here's the laptop that I will be installing Ubuntu on um, it is an Acer laptop it's got a AMD Phenon triple core processor 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 600 um, gigabyte hard drive so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to have it powered off, um, so totally off, and take your USB, plug it in a USB port, make sure that's in all the way, and um, you're going to want to turn this on. It might be different for some laptops, but I believe for this one it's F12 for boot options. So we're going to turn it on and wait for it to boot, and then F12 and it's entering the, the boot um, section. So you see we got a menu here, um, so it should be F12, I believe for HP it's either F10 or F9, um, you could probably look it up, just real quick what's the HP um, boot selection, you know, key, it should be for whatever system you have as long as it's not incredibly old, the same key. Um, so we're going to navigate right here, I am missing the top one but it still works, so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna go down to USB flash drive. It might say USB memory for you. Something to do with USB or removable device, but it should be somewhere around that. Then we're just gonna click enter. And then it's gonna bring up this screen here. And it's got several options. If we can zoom in on that. Oh, I'm actually gonna, oh, it just went into try and Bluetooth. Well, I guess click on try Ubuntu because that is what it's doing right now. So it's you can do this if you want to try it. You could pretty much see my face right there. But yeah, you can do this. Um, it's just gonna go into a um, temporary account where uh, anything you do won't be saved, but where you can actually install it through this. So I guess go to this menu just the first. Menu on the top, select that, and what it's doing right now is booting into it. Not sure. Um, and then, as you can see right here, it's gonna. If you are new to this, you might want to read this, so you can see everything. But I'm just gonna get rid of that. You can see right here it says install Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. And you just want to double click it, just like uh, Windows. And it's going to start loading. So say welcome. So now it's pretty much just um, a matter of clicking continue, next, yes, all the positive answers, just like a scammer would say. Um, you're going to want to install third party updates. You actually want to connect to Wi Fi, so you could go to this little Wi Fi tab up here and select your wireless network and connect to it. So I'm going to connect to mine so I can download updates while installing. And connect. And once it connects to Wi Fi, you just want to select download updates while installing and then go to continue. 
Right, and there's a couple more menus after this, and then it gets to the installation. As you can see, the USB is currently flashing because it is transferring data over. Now, there is one thing. If you have a big enough hard drive, um, you can have Windows and Ubuntu on the same drive. Um, if you wanted to, I have a 600 gig drive, so what I'm currently going to do is have 300 on both. Um, so yeah, it just disconnected from my Wi-Fi. Okay, now you see we got an option here, install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7. So that is what I'm going to do. Anyone else who's just installing this, you click erase disk and install Ubuntu, and that will be kind of the same method, except this next part that's going to come up here. So as you can see, we got um, files, and then we have Ubuntu. This is Windows. Now, it already automatically did a little bit of splitting, but I'm actually... I think I'm going to leave it here actually because I'm not going to really have that much on both and it seems like a pretty even split um, so then you just click install now and then it's basically um, continue it's basically just a matter of waiting for for it to be done so you click install now it's going to, have, it's going to start doing its stuff and click continue should be kind of similar except this menu of course isn't going to be here if you just click to erase the disk so it's going to say Los Angeles click continue or wherever you are you can just select it go up, put your mouse up and click where you are and bring it up your language test your keyboard to see if it types which yes mine does continue sorry just a little bit out of focus and now I have to put my details in, so I'm going to do that, and I guess you guys should too. Okay, so I have put my information in, then click continue. I just don't really want to show you guys. Um, okay, there it goes. Now it's installing, copying files and stuff, so just wait for this and I'll be back when it's done. Guys, so it has finished installing, and it should come up with this message here. Oh my gosh, my camera. Oh my gosh. Okay, it should come up with this message here that says, Installation has finished. You can continue testing Ubuntu now, but, um, but until you start the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So what you're going to do is click Restart Now. Leave the USB in for now. And it's going to restart the computer for you. Now, um, if you did this with just a fresh install, then you can see my hand. Then you're going to, you don't have to do this menu part, but it's going to bring up a menu here. And basically, this is the menu, and it says um, to choose which one. So you could choose Windows 7 or Ubuntu, so we're going to go up, select Ubuntu, and you can actually remove the USB now, as you can see, USB is gone. Um, then you can format that, you don't need it anymore, and then the computer is going to uh, turn on, um, if it shows like little text bars on the computer or anything, um, that's fine, that's just the regular Ubuntu, and then eventually it will show the logo, and then it's going to bring it up to log in, so I'm going to log in, press enter, and it's going to load the Ubuntu desktop. Just get my mouse working here. Um, the sensitivity on Ubuntu will be more see the mouse is very wiggly um, so we're currently just waiting for it to load in this laptop is very hot and it does thermal throttle so that's probably why this is taking so long there it goes so now we have a fully fledged Ubuntu install um, but yeah so that's pretty much it if you guys like this video leave a like if I helped you leave a like if you want a tutorial video on something else because I like doing tutorial videos 
leave a comment and um, I'll probably have a scammer video up um, later today but that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.